Hey guys, today the new map released, I'll be showing you everything new. First thing you will notice is that the base is a lot more open. All of the weapon racks have been changed to a more clean one color look. The starter oil room has changed. The stairs are thicker. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy! The shooting range has changed. Loadout has a new look. Third floor has been rearranged. This is what it looks like from the outside. Oil rigs have a new look. Their hit points are the same. Power gen has moved. The oil barrel slash crate drop off has been moved around. The bunker has been fully revamped. The missile silo has been moved into the bunker. There are now 16 bases on the map. Some things in the World War II bunker have changed. The oil drill room is pretty much the same. The shield gen has changed to a more compact look. Vietnam tent has moved but other than that it's pretty much the same. This is the new look for the vehicle tent with its own gate. The buggy can hold oil barrels now. The vehicle bay is pretty much the same besides a few things move. Along with the tank factory but, inside it has the new gun.
Let's see the damage. Overall very strong. Now onto the C-RAM. Its real name is Counter Rocket Artillery and Mortar or C-RAM for short. This thing can take down a hind in seconds. You can also use it yourself. Others can destroy it taking it offline. Watch how long it takes to destroy a hind. Now moving on to the boats. The boat operator is now in here with all of the guns. There are two spawn panels here. And the wooden dock for smaller boats like the jet ski and starter boat. Before we move on let's go exploring with the jet ski. Let's check out the oil rig while we're here. If you're enjoying the video make sure to subscribe. Great spot for seeing the map. Now let's see the helicopters.
Very similar to the tank factory, all helicopters will now have parts needed to build them except for the training helicopter and DeLorean. You can see the new training helicopter has an oil barrel holder option with no parts needed to fly. The training helicopter and DeLorean are the only ones that don't require parts to fly. This is where the barrels go. Now let's fly. We can now go exploring from the skies. This is the main city part of the update. This is a cool building with a helipad and elevator. This is the new capture point. They changed the look of the self-revive button. Now let's explore on ground. You can now destroy the bridges. There are gas stations that repair your vehicle.
There are oil rigs and warehouses where you can get barrels. There are about four on the map. Thanks for watching the video it took me way longer than it was supposed to be, aka 3 hours.